this is just uh, horrible out here. Let me step aside here. Uh, just what you were saying, they're telling us that uh, father was taking his son to work right around the corner here to the fries when he got in an argument with his 20 year old son. Uh, somewhere along that argument, the son tells dad, according to dad, he no longer wants to be in the car. That's when he jumps out of the car and is struck by a dark colored sedan. Now, dad has stayed here on the scene. He was talking with officers. There's, there were other, uh, other uh, witnesses who came by and they stopped by and they were rendering aid. He was taken to the Chandler Regional where he was later pronounced dead. Now, the information on this car that they're looking for is a dark colored sedan with heavy front end damage. Now, here's the deal. Now they're looking for him for felony flight. But if he would have stopped, it would have been a different story. It's uh, considered a hit and run, uh, especially with a fatality, uh, leaving the scene of a fatality. However, at this point, we still need to do more investigating to find out what took place. As you can see, it's very dark out here. Um, we have to find out what the motives were, what took place when the driver that struck the uh, male that fell out or jumped out uh, and see where we go from there. So, Gina, part of the uh, 347 was blocked off earlier. They have since lifted those uh, that traffic, so that's going to be normal traffic for them. But you know, coming in and out of Maricopa at this time, it's going to be heavy. Yeah. What you see behind me right now is Smith Inky Road, which is just to the side of it. This is west and eastbound that we're taking a look at here. Mm -hmm. Eastbound is wide open. Westbound is going to be closed, but they say they've already called out a tow truck, and I see it parked on the other side. They say they should have this cleared up within in the next 30 minutes or so. All right, that's good to know, Gibby, especially as we uh, move into the thick of rush hour. Thank you, my friend. I'm going to take the baton from here and continue our team coverage, give you a little different perspective. This is the live ADOT camera along the 347, and if you look beyond the trees, you can see some of the flashing lights. That is a scene that Gibby is reporting from. That is Smith Anke. It is that westbound side uh, driving away from the 347 that is shut down. So if you live uh, west of there, you need to get to the 347. You're good to go, and you can see the 347 itself is open. So just putting it on a map here for you and you can see again uh, the town of Maricopa moving into its rush hour.